Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute rubber ducky and you're going to need a total of 88 bands. We're going to be making it in two parts. The head will take 38 bands, 5 orange, 2 blacks, and 31 yellows, and the body um, will need 50 rubber bands. And you'll also need some rubber bands to stuff the head and the body with if you want to put it in the water. Um, cotton balls or tissue papers will just soak right through. So let's get started. So let's make the eyes. It's real quick. We're going to take a single black band or whatever color you want, looping it four times on a hook. We'll do the same for the other eye, taking a single band and looping it four times on the hook. Taking your rubber ducky color, mine will be yellow, and pulling the eyes onto our single yellow band. Repeat for the other eye. And put it aside for later. Now let's do the head. We're taking two single yellow bands and we're going to loop it across from one peg to the other. Two more single bands. Twist in the center and looping it across. Push it down. Two last single bands. Twist in the center and put it to the peg across from it. And if you're working on a monster tail, yours should be on the side, the side third peg on either side. It should all look like that. Now taking a single yellow band, we're going to cover the six pegs and looping the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. For the head, we'll be only using six pegs. So go on the outside, grab the bottom two bands, and loop it up and over to the center. That was row number two. Push it down. Row number three, same thing, taking six single bands, covering the six pegs, and then looping the bottom two bands up and over leaving two loops left per peg. And let's loop the bottom two bands up and over. Make sure you grab the bottom two bands. Push everything down. Row number four, we're adding our eyes and we're going to loop it on the first center to the side first peg for both eyes. And the rest of the pegs, just take a single band and covering the rest of the six pegs. Let's loop the bottom two bands up and over to the center. Push everything down on our last row, row number five, same thing. We're just taking six single bands and looping the bottom two bands up and over. Push it down. If you're working on the monster tail, then you can go ahead and stuff the head. Don't overstuff it. Just put a little bit of um, old rubber bands or same color rubber bands inside our head to make it round. And you might want to use rubber bands because um, if you want to put it in the water, then rubber bands would work best. So I'm going to take some yellow rubber bands ones I can't use and I'm just going to carefully stuff it in his head just a few so it's not overstuffed and we want it nice and round now taking a single slip knot band and pull all the loops off of our hook and onto the single rubber band to tie a slip knot Now 
And the kind of bands I'm using is the uh, Rainbow Bloom Jelly yellow bands. And tuck in your slip knot band or you can keep it out as a charm string, it's up to you. Squish his head so it's nice and round. And now we're going to add the beak. So for our beak, we're taking a single twist, double, getting it on our finger. Now taking our head, we're going to reach right under the eye and inside our head or on our head and grabbing the two loops onto a hook that's right underneath our black eye on the right side or on the left side of our face and we're reaching it from the eye down grabbing our two single orange bands and getting the loops onto a hook making sure it's not twisted like that taking another orange band twist double we'll pull the loops off of our hook and onto our two orange or the single we doubled so that's what it should look like at this point now to continue our beak I'm going to reach and grab two loops on the top of our face one row underneath our eye so you see the two loops off of the face and onto a hook once again we're taking a single orange twist double and pulling all the loops off of our hook and onto the single we doubled and onto a hook like that now take another single orange twist double we're going to pull our loops back putting a hook underneath the other eye grabbing the two loops that's right underneath it onto a hook like that and pulling the single we doubled through the loops that's on our face the two yellow bands and getting all the loops onto our hook and make it even taking your last single twist double orange and getting all the eight loops onto the single we just doubled and let's tie it off in a slip knot and you can do your beak any number of ways but this is the way I'm choosing to do mine so that's what your beak should look like and let's tuck in that slip knot band just carefully putting a hook underneath our beak and pulling the slip knot band through to hide it. So there's our duckie's head so far and make sure you squish it down so it's nice and round. Now let's put a hook through the four loops that are right under our duckie's neck. So that's what it should look like. Now taking two yellow bands for the body and pulling it through and getting all the four loops onto the two single bands. So on our loom, we're going to attach it with our head pointing down on the first right peg, twist in the center and put it straight across to that peg over there so the second peg on the left and once again we want our head to be facing down the chin up in between the center and the right first peg taking two single bands we're going to loop it from one peg twist in the center across to the other one like that taking the last two single yellow bands covering the last two pegs for a total of six pegs cross in the center and looping it across to that third center peg but if you're working on a monster tail you're looping it to the side um, sixth peg whichever side you decide so now we're covering six pegs taking six single bands and covering the six pegs and we'll loop the bottom 
two bands up and over. This is row number two. Once again, we want to reach under, grabbing the bottom two bands, looping up and over to the center, leaving two loops left per peg. Push everything down. That was row number two. Row number three, we're going to expand, grabbing these two loops off of the side third peg if you're working on the monster tail. If you have your loops on the third center peg on the loom, just move those two loops off of the center third peg and onto the fourth center peg. And on a monster tail, you just want to move it off of this third peg and onto the bottom most um, center peg. So that's what it should look like so far. Now for both, we're taking a single band off of the second side peg that's attached to the first and moving it to the third. So go in the side second peg, grab the top loop, check to make sure it's attached to the first, which it is, and move it to the third. So the second and third each has a single loop. Repeat on the other side, pull the top loop off, check to make sure it's attached to the first, which this isn't, so I'm putting it aside. Now we're going to pull the other loop off of the side second peg and move it to the third side peg and then reattaching the one we moved off first back onto the second side peg. So once again, the second and third peg each has a loop. So this is row number three. We're taking eight single bands, covering the eight pegs and looping the bottom bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. And remember, the second and third peg will only have a single loop because we expanded. Just loop those bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. Push it down. Rows four, five, and six, we're just going to repeat the same process. Taking a single band, covering the eight pegs, and then looping the bottom two bands up and over, leaving two loops left per peg. And I'm going to fast forward through rows five, four, five, and six and come back when I'm done. So this is row number six for me. Now I'm going to take the loops off of each peg, off of the eight pegs. You should grab two loops going clockwise around your loom and if you're working on a monster tail you can stuff your rubber ducky. Just don't overstuff it because we want to flatten the body a little bit to give it that ducky shape. We don't want it round so getting all the loops off of our hook, off of our loom and onto our hook like that. Taking our rubber bands I'm just going to stuff the body and don't overstuff it. Taking a yellow single band, we're going to pull all the loops off of our hook onto that single yellow band and we're going to tie a slip knot. Cinch it. So there's our rubber ducky so far and we want to pull the head back, pull the bands under the neck so his head is on his body, squish and flatten the body for the ducky look and make sure you flatten the head and make it nice and round. Pointing his face to the right, I'm right handed so I'm grabbing the four loops near his bottom where the slipknot band is, like that. So get it on your hook. 
grabbing two single yellow bands and pulling the four loops onto the two single yellow bands like that so that's what it should look like now taking a single yellow twist double it get it on a hook and pulling the four loops onto the single we doubled and getting them onto our hook. Now take our slip knot band on your finger I'm going to use that to tie off the tail. So pulling the slip knot band, getting on our finger and pulling the loops off of our hook and onto our slip knot band. So that's what it should look like and I'm going to just put my hook through this end of the slipknot band on the other side of the loops and grab the slipknot band loop and just tie it off. And if this is too confusing, just take another single band and just tie off your tail. It's the same, I just didn't want to use another band. And now just tuck in the slipknot band through the tail and the body to hide it. So here are our 3D rubber duckies. I hope you like them. Thanks for watching.